Hello everybody and I welcome you to my first record box masterclass. In this masterclass we're going to be going over everything you need to start from a beginner DJ with no prior knowledge in sound, music, any sort of whatsoever. I'm going to get you set up with all the music you need and everything you should need to start DJing. And I'm going to run you through those in separate videos in easy steps on how you can actually set up your music to be club ready and ready for CDJs yourself. In this first video specifically, we're going to be going over downloading the software, getting it set up, and just a few other desktop things if you're on Mac OS. It doesn't really matter your version, uh, whether it be Big Sur, Mojave, doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to get a few preference things set up so you can follow it along exactly how I do things. Um, there's, there's a few little key techniques that I like to set up in my record box to make really quick workflow, but if you don't get that, that's definitely okay. Cause I know most of you probably have record box, but if you don't, this guide is going to explain exactly how to set it up and get your account started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading record box. So right now I currently have record box five installed. So I have record box four and five because I've taught both of those, but we're going to be doing six because that's the newest version and most likely the one you're going to be learning on and why learn a legacy program if this is your first time. So we're going to be getting right into six. So the first thing you need to do is run over to Safari or Google Chrome, which you should probably have. Um, I just don't because this is a fresh install. I wanted to do it on a brand new computer so I could run everything through exactly how you would and not have any sort of weird features that you don't have yet. So you're going to head over to recordbox.com, pretty easy, and you'll see it loads up and you'll go to download. So recordbox is a free download. So you're going to hit the download button here and download it for your respective operating system. So you're going to hit down here, agree, download, and allow, and it's going to download. So recordbox is a safe software. I don't think it's given any one of virus. It's one of the top DJ softwares now, a uh, trusted site. So this is the only piece of software you will actually need. Um, there's going to be a couple else that I recommend, but they're all safe as well, such as iTunes for converting wave music, but that's going to be in a later episode. So after Xfinity wanted to be slow, uh, our download's almost done here. So we're going to open it up in our downloads file and 310 megabytes, so yeah, uh, get fiber if you can. But for now, just double click it. So I'm on 6.5.0, but if you're watching this at a later date, you might be on 6.6. It .6. uh, doesn't really matter, just download the newest one um, because usually in versions, so for example, five to six, six to seven, they make some pretty big changes, but the inner versions, they just make things a little bit easier. So if you're watching on this, uh, they do offer legacy versions. So double click it. Uh, install, install, you might need a password um, depending on who who is using it. So I'm just gonna enter my master password. So there we go. And if you don't have administrator privileges, you're gonna have a harder time installing it. Uh, there is a way, but um, you should have that if it's your own PC. So record box, is installed, you can move everything to the trash. And now you have it on your system. So load up Finder, uh, go to Applications, and then Record Box 6 should be there, if I can find it. So there we go, there's Record Box. And right click, uh, open, otherwise you can just double click on it, but I like to right click it because it runs it as administrator the first time. So we'll do that one more time. and we should open. All right, so this is the point where you need to set up an account. Uh, I would highly recommend you set up an account. Uh, you can, I think, do it with an offline account, but uh, in this version, I don't know if you can. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create an account assuming you don't already have one. What this is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to save all of your uh, purchased items, it's going to allow you to save everything to your own record box, which becomes handy when you start uh, getting plugins or keys or other things. So we're going to create an account here. So it pulls you to record box or Kuvo, um, and we'll just rec we'll just uh, register again. So Spencer, touch up, um, and then 
I'll let you guys do this. And then once you get to this point, uh, we'll log into our Rekordbox account. Alrighty, once you have your account all filled out, uh, you're gonna hit Join Pioneer DJ. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to log into the, all right, account has not been validated, so we're gonna go and validate that. So go to your email, wherever you register it, click the validation link. All right, so hidden in all the spam, uh, we're gonna click the Pioneer DJ verification email and confirm email address. And what this is gonna allow you to do is now it's gonna allow you to sign in to the record box from before. So um, you can click there, otherwise we can go back to the record box homepage. Um, I, used a, I used a throwaway for spam. So if you wanna spam me, whatever, just send an email there, it will sit there for years. And then enter your username and password and it will allow you to log in. Account setup has been complete. So I literally just set this up so after a second, it's going to allow you to log in. So just hit start. Um, what kind of music? You don't have to say anything. So we'll just do house, techno, trance. Cool, everyone. Um, we'll do never, uh, nowhere, under 12 months, uh, other. Basically just generic information because I'm going to be running you through the entire guide. So with this, your record box should start up. It's going to take a couple seconds, but here we are to record box. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing the free plan. The free plan has everything we need to do what we're going to do. Um, hardware device unlocks. What you can do with those is essentially use other controllers or use performance modes. Um, very handy. I have them on my other one but I'm not gonna use them for this one because we're all gonna be using the free mode just so we don't have any legs up on each other. Uh, so we're gonna choose free. Regardless, we're gonna choose the free plan. So we have the free plan right now um, as shown in here, information, great. Couple of different things have been updated. We're not even gonna use those CDJ 3000s, phenomenal, but we're not gonna use those either. So. Here we are, we have, we're into record box and you are all ready to first and set up for the next tutorial that we do. While we're here, uh, if you're on Mac and have a very similar desktop to me, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to kind of clean up the desktop. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just clear off some of these. So remove from dock. Uh, I don't want any of this besides the actual record box itself due to not using any of it, I guess, since it's a fresh install. So we're gonna keep iTunes, and then record box, you're gonna right click it, options, keep and dock. So this is gonna allow you for it to stay. So even, let's say I'll open it again, I'll close it. So it's still here. And that little, little dot at the bottom shows it's still open somewhere, or it's closing down. So you can right click it and force click, um, otherwise you can just open it. So you click it to open it and it should open right back up. And this is gonna be the, so the little dot's gone now. So now we can click it, open it, and you're not gonna have to go through login anymore because it remembers your individual login. So this is great. Um, in the next one, we're gonna be setting up the hard drive uh, so you can transfer it around to different places if you use different computers and or uh, prevention if your database gets corrupted. It's gonna basically protect you if anything goes wrong with your record box itself. So we're gonna be setting that up next time, but thank you guys uh, for coming to lesson one and I will see you on two.